Scooter's the age-old enemy of skateboarders. Now, let's actually talk about why skateboarders hate scooters. Let's jump into it. Right, let's go with the, the first and most simple answer for anyone here who's just looking for the quick answer. And this is basically, skateboarders tend to, you know, associate scooters with kids and people who don't, you know, know the rules of a skate park. Now, what I'm talking about with the rules of the skate park is, is basically the way the skate park flows, like there's a clear direction on where, you know, skateboards are going and there's a certain kind of circuit area that skaters tend to go when they're skateboarding. And once everyone, you know, realizes, so basically the best and simplest way to put it is scooters have no skate park etiquette. And what skate park etiquette is, is basically, you know, decent respect for, you know, people taking their turns at skating certain obstacles and, you know, going around certain things to, you know, do tricks on. So another thing with the whole skateboarders associating, you know, scooters with children and all that is actually parents. Now, skateboarders get annoyed at parents because the parents, you know, tend to blame, you know, us skaters for their child being injured when they're on a scooter. Now, this isn't always fair because the scooter is usually sna snaking in front of um, one of the skaters that happens to injure the child. Now, this is where I'm going to explain what snaking is. Snaking is basically, you know, going in front of like anyone doing a trick on an obstacle. So like, say I'm going up a ramp and I'm way all the way a ramp and then, you know, another skater or a scooter comes by and while I'm mid air, and I'm landing right where they are, I can't do anything to control that, so they've snaked in front of me and just, you know, gotten injured. And it is their fault for not knowing skate park etiquette. Now, this actually brings me into the next part where, you know, skateboards are easier to see where people are going because they have pretty sharp turns when you lean on a board. And the other thing with that is scooters are so hard to read when, like, you know, it's literally just a stick that turns, right? That's the basic terms of a scooter. It's got a wheel with a stick on it, and that's how it turns. Now, I'm not saying all scooters are bad, uh, even from a skateboarder's perspective, but, you know, Skaters tend to hate scooters because of these sole reasons. Basically, you know, they're snakes, they have no skate park etiquette. And, you know, it's always been a feud, even since like the 2000s. Like, it's always been, you know, a feud between skateboarders and scooters, especially at skate parks. Now, now maybe you're thinking, wait, but BM people on BMXs go around, you know, skate parks and do tricks and stuff like that. And you are right, and even the same with rollerblades, right? Or roller skates, right? Now there's a reason for, for that, and that is basically the same reason for uh, how you can read a skateboard. And it's because you can actually tell where they're going. Like, because they have to look at so much, um, look where you're going is virtually where you go is where you look. You know, so like if I was, you know, looking to the left, I'd go left on a board, right? Um, obviously, there's more than that to it, but that's a general principle. So if I look more left than straight, I'm going to veer off to the left. And if I look more right than straight, I'm going to veer off to the right. OK, so basically scooters, because they only have that little bit of turn and momentum, you can't really tell where they're going. Now, you would think the same with BMXs, right? With bikes and all that. But people on BMXs seem to have better skate park etiquette and actually know what they're doing. Even, even children on BMXs um, are always usually better than the kids on scooters, uh, if I am being honest. Because, I don't know, maybe just, I guess something, you know, clicks more with uh, 
you know, safety because it's a bigger height. You're not just going to fall off a little platform that's this size. Now, I'm not saying any skateboarders don't snake. I'm not saying BMXers don't snake. I, I'm not saying no, nobody but scooters snake. Everyone snakes. Everyone snaked at least once in their life, uh, especially if they've been on a scooter, a skateboard, a BMX, roller skates, inline skates, anything like that. And now that's not the main reason though. Uh, the main reason is usually because of the parents of the scooter kids tend to be very, 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 very annoying and, you know, um, basically Karens, right? Usually, usually. I'm not saying all of them, but usually. Uh, they seem to think their child was in no wrong and all that stuff. And that's why skaters get annoyed at scooters because, again, it's not even a turf thing. It's not even because it's called a skate park. It's literally because of annoying parents or annoying kids that will just keep getting in your way and keep getting in your way. And then you either have to shout at them or let them get hit. Letting them get hit is kind of the funnier thing to do, but you don't always want to, you know, say that. Uh, but I'm, I'm out here to, you know, speak this truth, right? Uh, that, and that's why you should always subscribe to me um, and hit that notification because at least I keep it real, right? 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 Yeah, okay, you agree. But yeah, so, yeah, basically just, you know, if you do uh, scooter stuff and stunts like that, uh, just make sure you know where you're going and make sure you, you know, learn some skate park etiquette as well just to, you know, be on the safer side and not accidentally... Uh, snake anyone uh, in the future if you already have snake people. Last thing, just before we wrap up actually, there is one more piece to this, you know, big puzzle. And I actually forgot to mention it uh, halfway through the video, but we're mentioning it in, at the end now. So this is basically the other, the biggest reason that uh, skaters tend to not like scooters, and skill. That is it. That's that's all it comes down to is a board has more skill. I, I will be honest, there are some great uh, scooter tricks and all that stuff. It's not even just skill. Um, it's more variety, I should have said, not skill. But, you know, scooters tend to only have certain movements. So, like, you can only get your tail whips or tail whip and throw over your head or do a back flip or do a front flip or do like a side flip right you can't do much on a scooter whereas on a board it takes more skill precision and like you know effort to do even simple tricks like shove it's always you know it requires a bit more discipline as well and again just skateboarders are easier to read on where they're going anyway that is going to be the end of today's video i hope you guys enjoyed if there's anything that i missed as usual leave it down in the comments below subscribe to me for more great amazing content like this and yeah i will see you guys in the next episode of whatever i do and as always happy skating happy progressing peace